Well, I uh, love making 18650 videos. They're definitely a very, very well loved sell. And here we have a couple. Um, these are the tested and rated excess from my electric bike pack. So I made the electric bike pack with 130 of them. Put in 10 in series, 13 in, uh, 13 in series, 10 in parallel, sorry. And these are, these are the leftovers. And they're a bit of a range of all kinds of things. 1200, 1900, 1800, 18, 25. Some of these 25s are bloody good batteries. Nearly all of these ones. Um, this blue Samsung 20Rs. They're excellent batteries. They're out of the Milwaukee cordless tools. Then you got some not so good batteries like these. Sony Energetics. Most of these red ones are fairly high, normally, normally over 2000. 2600. We've got some decent two fives. So, my next point is all of these ones. These are all, all the same. These nice blue green tealy kind of coloured Samsungs. All of these red ones with the white ring. Uh, LG drill battery cells, all these pink ones with the white ring are Samsung and all of, all of those batteries have had good capacity very very good and um, the other reds with a red ring or a green ring or a blue ring are generally 1800 plus the next thing I've got to do is I've got to sort all of these I've got to work out how I want to sort them I'm going to start gathering cells for my electric vehicle not electric bike, electric ute I'm going for a full car so I need to make a decision on what kind of capacity cells I'm going to use. Of course you'd say straight away, I oh, will get the biggest and best ones you can get. That, that's pretty obvious. But I also want to get the ones I can get the most of. So it's not a big deal having 200 extra cells in a pack with 4,000 of them. But being able to have them readily available is more important to me. Um, I don't want to spend a huge amount of money on the battery pack. I'd love to make the battery pack out of mainly recycled, re-rated, tested cells. That'd be lovely. Because um, I'd rather spend more money on the DC motor that I want to use. So I'm thinking set up like a VIP or a best of kind of battery bank out of anything over 2200 milliamps I put them in a pile, anything over 2200, they're the best then have one that's everything over 2000 milliamp hours so 90% of these nice blue Samsung's down here will go into that and then make a pile of 1500 Novas and uh, a lot of these Sony Energetics, which are meant to be 1500, don't even get there. But some of the blue Samsungs, these ones, um, they're out of 3 amp hour drill batteries. And they, they will get into the uh, category of uh, 1500s, so they'll rate 15 and 1600. And then make a box for thousands and up, or I might go 1200 and unders. That way, um, they're not in a big pile like they were. No, it was just a box full of them I had that I'd rated. Um, I've actually tested all of these cells with one LiPo charger and that. Every one of them's got a rating, a discharge rating. So. That's what I need to start doing, is making some boxes with uh, some cells that are 
categorised into their kind of qualities. And then I've still got these to go through. Charge up, test. There's five there, ten there, twenty there, another twenty. I could probably desolder all those and then I've got sixty smaller ones. There's some more in there. So there's still that's a bike pack. Some more there. Some more there. So there's still plenty of cells left at the moment for me to work with. There's some more hiding over the back of the pile. And then there's a pile of supposed duds. They're ones that either wouldn't charge or had no voltage in to begin with. That doesn't mean they're all over and out. I've got to continue putting that battery pack for the bike back together. The electric bikes are going again. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, so that's, that's how many are currently in the collection. Yeah, and there's a bunch there that are charged waiting to be raided. So we've got some uh, sorting to do. When we've got them all sorted, we'll work out how many of what I've got. Yeah, thanks for watching.